Hello, my me gamers, Jeremiah, the main boy here, and welcome back to Genji Impact. So today, guys, we're gonna deal with the commission mission, and then we're gonna go back to the mission with Venti. Okay, this is different, Doctor Ethan. Oh, Eddie, I don't know how to see the name. Well, it's Jim. I can't use this material either. What are you working on? I'm into writing a new book about martial history that focuses on the wind, and I'm looking for inspiration here. If you think about it, this place is the ideal spot. It's the statue of the seven that represents armor, and the tree that is closest like the dungeon of the great hero Vanessa. Yet, and I know this might sound funny, looking for and gather the winds without a vision, which I lack, is too different. And this so-called search for inspiration, why am I start staying into space here? Most material is something from second-hand bookstores as well. That's a life of person without a vision of recovering, to do much and yet achieve little. One cannot use the power of the element without a vision, whether a vision or in life. Those without them lies outside my own world. <laughs> Maybe in my eyes of a god, visions wielder of the main killer of the world. So I said too much. And why I did say all this, I won't give all my research. I don't have a vision, but I won't lose the tons of leadership. I also heard that you could use your element even without a vision. If you could help me then grab some object included with armor, that would really help me with my research. Could you help me climb up the tree and have a look? E I'll do it. Great, I'm killing you then. I can't see the end of it yet. I think you need to follow the trail of the wind. Which way? I'll be waiting for you under the tree. If you find anything, just be down to me. Sure, well, I don't fall down. So I'm supposed to climb this damn thing. This is awkward. Hey, there's an egg appeal. Is that food? That's one. The second one. Oh, this piece is too, it's too steady. It's kind of steady, but yeah, we're good. Okay, we're done. Hi, for anything. I gotta feel these heal. Please, let me take a look. Please, huh? You can put them inside the box. Well, when held in your hand, these leaves do indeed allow you to feel the wind. To think that the trees really have the this power, if I only have a vision, then I won't have to waste this much time. Thank you, this is very precious resource, and I'll use it as much. Still, I don't have any method of presenting these leaves. It's the full puzzle that the wind in them could disappear all too quickly. Still, take this as beginning for the effort. Who knows, I might need to call on the future to help me collect resource materials. You might have to do that, but who knows exactly. Think about turning these adventures into songs after we're done. <sighs> okay, what we'll see now? Well, we certainly have gone through quite a lot recently. Hopefully, this song will be sung for years to come by the people of Mondstadt, just like the legend of Vanessa. I have loved that song since I was small. Aww. How are you feeling today, honorary knight? I am completely prepared and fully confident that we can do this. Mustang is so edible. Even Master DeLuca accompanied us to the very end, despite only being an accidentally involved bystander. You shared your secret with me, and I only returned your trust to the same extent. So... Well, what about Venti? It's freedom. Ooh, really? Freedom? When you first arrived at Mondstadt, did no one tell you that Mondstadt is the city of freedom? Amber. <laughs> she really is a child of freedom. Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king, and its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. I hope the dragon that once protected Mondstadt will soon be free too. No one should have deceived him by telling him that Mondstadt betrayed him. And no one should have told him that it was his eternal duty to protect the city. Oh. He has the right and freedom to choose his own way of life. Fenty? Well then, Traveler, may the thousands of years of wind that have blown through Mondstadt go with you. Just like the last time, I shall channel animal energy for you. Last time. Oh, no wonder you said his voice sounds familiar. What? What do you mean by that exactly? So we're gonna stand exactly right here? If it breaks, then I'm pretty much dead. I'm standing. Is it gonna break? Or oh, don't break, I don't know. What the f I have a lot of drawing puzzles to who has been led straight by the ABS major. You are about to find a confirm with him once and for all. What? Look! There are two shots. 
shiny spots on Devalin's back. Oh. They appear to be poisonous blood clots that have coagulated on his wounds. The Abyss Order must have cursed the wounds. That's what's corrupting Devalin's mind. So there's a boss right now? To save Devalin, we're going to have to get rid of those blood clots. Ugh, blood it was fun. Hey, are you okay? I think you're dying. You know, this is gonna be easy boss fight. This is not a big deal. You can't touch me. Uh -huh. If I Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Thank you, Venti. <laughs> it's not your fault, dude. Not your fault. Come on, go for it. Go for it. Get me that little shit. Let me get close. Don't. Oh, I missed it. Please don't skip. I gotta kill you. We're well, sorry. Oh my God! Stop moving. Hang on. Just one more. Oh my God! We still keep going. Oh, I'm Venti now. Okay. Okay. We're on the ground now. So what we're doing? Can we just fly instead of be more easier? Oh, not Venti. Oh, I wish. Dang, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, look at. Is that Venti doing it? Oh, never mind. Careful! Don't hurt my, Don't you hurt my boy! Especially me, okay? Does he- does the giant realize the thing on his back? <gasps> oh, I'm Venti! Oh, okay, I'm Venti, now that's pretty- Now we like on equal grounds! <laughs> the grandest bard is here to help! But first, let me be clear. Even after hundreds of years without use, Devolin's teeth and claws are still very dangerous. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, shit! I didn't see that! I got in for his face first. Let me fly away. Let me fly away. Bye bye. Can you stop that? Where is your blood disgusting dragon? Brush your teeth. Okay, got him. Aim for the tainted blood clot on his Um, aren't you doing that? Ah! Stop! Oh my friends! Why are you killing me? Wait, what is going on? What's going on? So is, is that good or bad? Is that good or bad? I named it for him just now. Why you named it? Jeez, it touched me! Anyway, let's ride the wind currents and stay away from the breaking platforms. That's what I'm doing! He's definitely gonna kill me! Sure to watch your step! Hi dragon! You're beautiful! Oh, he almost got me with it. Aim for the tainted blood clot on his How come up close is more damageable? Don't you get up? You're almost dead. Oh, shit! Actually, his claws is pretty lame, but... That's... Aim for the tainted blood clot on his neck. Well, he's almost dead anyway, so... Oh, he's almost dead! Almost dead! What are you doing? What the hell? Can you stop? Oh my god, what was that? What are you doing now? Oh, he's doing that thing again, isn't he? That's what I thought! He's doing it again! This is, this is shitty. This is fun. Oh god! Oh shit, my son is dying! Please stop, 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 stop! No, 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 no! He's gone! Okay, at least I got one bold person. Aim for the tainted blood clot on his Hey, he's gone! You're dead! You want hugs? Sorry, dragon! Sorry! Please, are you okay? <gasps> I'm on! This place is gonna collapse! Careful! <gasps> Wait! I thought you were dead! Of course he's not dead, of course he's a god. 
Fenty, no! I want this boy so bad! Wait, he, he, he saved him? But what about us? What? So he's a good guy now? He became a good guy now? It's been a while since we flew like this together. How huh, Devalin? Just now. Why? Oh. Do not ask me to protect you like the last time. Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. Freedom, if demanded of you by an Archon, is really no freedom at all. Oh, look at you. Is this the power of the animal Archon? Look at his voice sound so gentle. I'm no longer part of the four winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. Oh. Careful! Don't show the city! And so, the storm terror threat was quelled. Oh. We clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems storm terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. Oh, Betsy, don't, don't leave me! Oh, he's still here. Never mind. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. That's a good coat. Oh, dragon's so cutesy. Hey, challenge complete, of course. Wait, we're leaving? What? One day later. Are we just gonna wait here? I don't wanna wait for here, right here. Okay, what's this? You guys are back! <laughs> the honorary knight returns triumphant! Yep, we're back from tussling with Devalin! You just returned yesterday, right? Jean got back first, and she told us all about your heroic deeds. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever get an opportunity like that. Trust me, it's not an up to you want to offer. You're right, actually. Peace is hard won, and we shouldn't take it for granted. And this time, you're the one we should all be grateful to. You're welcome. But have you been waiting for us here this whole time? Of course not. Just because I'm not out on the front line doesn't mean I don't have work to do. In fact, I'm after my- Oh, skip. Here? What happened in Mondstadt? While Master Jean was away, the monsters lurking nearby made a coordinated attack on the city. Fortunately, we weren't completely taken by surprise. I detected the hilly churls were moving closer to the city a while back. Oh yeah! Paimon remembers! When we first met, you were clearing out one of their camps! Exactly! And if we hadn't started making preparations back then, Mondstadt would be in much greater danger by now. Glad you held them off. Me too. But I have a strange feeling that we're not out of the woods yet. Hilly churls aren't usually capable of coordinating like this. Our best guess is that the Abyss Order is behind it. They've um. taken over the Hilly Churls! Hmm. Good thing we saved Devalin or they might have taken him too. That's right. And since I'm the Outrider, it's up to me to keep eyes on the Abyss Order from now on. Ugh, I'm sorry. You should be celebrating your victory, not listening to all this somber talk. Hmm, I promised to take you out for some sticky honey roast, didn't I? Before everyone got caught up in the storm terror crisis. There's no time like the present, right? You guys hungry? You bet! You may have forgotten till just now, but it's been on Paimon's mind this whole time! Awesome, Aww. let's go! It's been way too long since I last ate a sticky honey roast myself. Wait for me, a good hunter. I'll be right there. I just have to clean up here real quick. Um, okay. Okay, Amber. See you there. Wait, where are you going? I thought you were with me! Wait, I'm almost dead? I'm down. I was fine. So this is a quest. I break all of these and I'll be fine. Really? Hello, Otto. I'm done with my work. As you could say. Thanks for helping us clean up the battlefield. You really didn't have to, you know. This work ethic of yours really puts me to shame. Oh, I know this fault. paltry sum doesn't begin to pay you back for everything you've done for the knights, but for what it's worth, please take it. Is it money? Is it money you gave me? Let me see the money, please. Oh, it's just cake. 
things. So I'm supposed to talk to this person? Silent? Who is this guy? Here we go. This is it. Oh, you talk? Danger. The thrill of adventure. Adventurer's Guild. Finally, our days of rescuing kittens and finding lost puppies are over. The age of adventure is upon us. Really? Roll up, youngsters. Join the Adventurer's Guild today. In this time of great upheaval, we must rally together, take on the dragon, and save our great city of Monster. Yeah, about that. What? What? This storm terror threat is resolved? <laughs> I missed the acting clanmaster's speech? <sighs> ah, storm terror should have put up more of a fight. We didn't get to join in. No, it's not your fault. What can we do about it, huh? I'm supposed to talk to you. That's pretty weird. No me. Your name is no me. Okay, it's pretty weird. Long live the heroes. <sighs> Thank you. It's finally over. Yep, it Many is. Many trade routes have closed due to the storm terror incident. We can cope for now without fresh fruit and vegetables. <sighs> but if the wine supply dries up, we're all doomed. <sighs> I cannot imagine a world without wine. What? I hope they get the trade routes back up and running soon. Yeah, I believe it will. Don't you worry about it. So we're just gonna talk about these people? It's pretty weird. So Storm Terror's true identity is Devalin. One of the four winds. We never should have forgotten his past sacrifice for Mondstadt. Every cloud has a silver lining. We're fortunate that our relationship with the Dragon of the East didn't sour past the point of no return. For that, really? we have you to thank. And Jean for her unfailing devotion. Oh. As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. Yeah, you're welcome. I talked to you. Oh, what is he doing here? What is my guy doing here? That's pretty funny. Greetings. May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Ah, the handsome Mr. Kagan. Ah, so you do feel something for me. And people say my charm is fake. Because you're gay. To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. And that's coming from a knight. Sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. What are you applying this time? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. On the contrary, I'm trying to work out what others are plotting. That's why I'm here. Somewhere quiet, where I can collect my thoughts. So what you thinking about then? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churls? There must be more to the story. To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited, and watched for their next move. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as the hilly churls' cries sounded from the city gates. That same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. What? Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Through various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting intel. The situation really? is this. The Abyss Order... They are united under a single leader. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war. What exactly did you have to do to find this out? <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call him the Prince. You supposed to say her. <laughs> That's funny. Princess. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. What? I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. 
Um, what a way, I guess. Bye. He's One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. I know. What a scundy. No, see, he does he love blah. He doesn't love behind the scenes, actually. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk himself out of trouble. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Let's order. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Waiting to get like a date? Um. Okay. Oh, what's next, Amber? Stars. Okay. It's been getting quite busy. So now the storm terror threat is behind us. What are your plans for the next step? Hey, you want to see for this? Um, I'm only 15, you're, you're 18? Eat Paimon. <laughs> Paimon thinks it's time to leave Monsta and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about his sister. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. I will miss Fonstad. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius, and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go, and wherever the wind may blow. I'll come back and visit. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will always welcome you. Alright, now let's eat before it gets cold. You enjoy the last scene meal time. And we got drunk. Mmm, that was good. Note to Paimon, Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Yep. Of course. Well, I don't trust myself in the kitchen. You can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. What is Jean's it? waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Himmel. You'd better head there now. What? Just now? Okay, then. Is that Barbara? What is she doing here? This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. Oh, I saw her name right. She is here to retrieve the Holy Lyre de Himmel. Oh, you're kawaii. Be my waifu. May the Animal Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Her voice is so everything soft. Everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. Nope. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We yes. cannot ask you to keep defending the Liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um... It's just... It's a little... Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. Really? Let me see. Uh, 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 <laughs> she did the thing! Uh, the Holy Liar! Oh, uh, Barbados! Even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life... It would still not be enough! Look how she's acting! <sighs> oh, give it here. Okay. Wait, Vanty can fix it? Wow! Uh, how could this holy liar, but how? Why are you looking at that thing? Let Paimon see! No, no! I don't know how you managed to fix it, but you'll never touch the liar again! Baba! We, uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you told that part! Hey, don't go! Dude, you gonna steal it again? Baba! Oh! Mind you, Venti! Thank God. <laughs> well... I think we're not- Oh! Who's that? <laughs> this looks nice. What? No, Paimon! No! Fancy! Oh, really? You should be behind you. At last, Mondstadt's- Who the fuck are you? In the flesh. 
Leave Sulay in the field. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers. Monstad calls this a god. Resident Rodin. Don't squeeze as if you're a mischief. What the fuck? Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Yeah, break it, break it. How impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? Oh. Thirty. Held your tongue. Oh. This is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. What is that? It is a waste when the beholder has no taste. Is that a poem he said? There's no time for poems, my son! Fenty! I can talk now? Jeez. Well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. You just knocked me out. <laughs> no! Is Fenty gonna be okay? After much time has passed, what? I don't want to. I don't want him dead. Jeez, that's just sad. Wake. Uh, honorary knight, you're awake. Were you masturbating my body? Uh, oh, I got up. <laughs> Fenty, is he all right? Um, I wouldn't say he's all right exactly. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. What? This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where did he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. I think I understand. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. I can say hear you talking. Shut up! Alright guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now it's like, well, you enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe today for my content and like right here. Also, if you have any questions, leave comments below. Of course, you enjoy. I'll you, of course, in the next one. Hi!